Alright, this is a video for a 2012 Chevy Cruze 1.4 Turbo. As you can tell, this is the old oil, the Turbo oil feed line. It was originally on the original 2012 mode, but I got a 2013 in there now. Um, I'm guessing I had oil, a major oil leak. Um, I took it to the mechanic shop to day and they told me the only place they see the leak coming from is this thing because he wiped it off went to let the car run and said it was only squirting out where the bolt was and around this um i went to gm to get it because then it cost 41 bucks but i don't come with a screw you have to get the original or use your original um but if you want the actual size nut or the e-torques bolt to go with it it's actually a metric six by ten and e10 torques the dealerships can't seem to get them for like three to four weeks and they cost ten bucks a piece um <clears throat> as you can tell on this one here's the original one i don't know if this is first generation or what but if you look at the seal the bottom one see how it's pushed down right there then it's even all the way around just a wet little bit but see how the top one is basically in perfect shape so i'm assuming that's where the leak is occurring um i was told that they had a, everybody's replacing these and it seems to be a big massive oil leak problem um i we went to eBay once before, they gave me the right one, but it was a little too sh too long than this one. I went to GM this morning, I got one made for this car, they said it was 41 bucks, they sold one to me for 28.88. Kind of find out it was made for a different engine size and it didn't have this whole piece here. But for some reason with the new AC Delco ones, I think they changed them. I went to GM again this morning and they gave me a brand new one. The only difference is it only has one seal on the bottom, but not one on top. So I asked him to verify that it's supposed to come with two seals or one. He even looked at his computer system with the diagram. It states it only comes with one. He had five of those in stock and they all only have one. So I'm assuming they did that because I guess to solve the oil leak problem, maybe is it too much pressure? Maybe they decided to put the seal on the bottom instead of on the top. But I was told that since it's a 2012, it could be using first generation stuff, but I'm not for sure. So I just put the new one on with the new with, with the with, with another bolt I got from the junkyard. I took the old one out, but the bolt was the same size and as tight as I can get it. And we'll see what happens. But remember. The size bolt that attaches on this side to hold it in tight is a metric six times ten an E10 torque. GM cannot give you the length size because it doesn't show on, on the diagram or even on the paperwork that's printed out. So Ace Hardware would not be able to give you that size. But if you had the original bolt, it's best to take it in with you. And as you can tell, the seal on this side looks like it's okay. Um, but I could be wrong. It wasn't leaking for this. It was a little wet, like from heat. But the new one I have has a green a green gasket, a green uh, seal. But it, actually, by looking at it right now, it looks like it's kind of wore out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please be sure you get the right one, aftermarket ones. I seem to get wrong every time by like a few inches. Go to GM, get AC Delco, get the right one. Take your old one in with you to verify the size because it seems to happen a lot. If you have any more questions, you can feel free to comment on my channel. Have a great day.